Hey friend, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jasmine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So iPad OS 26 just changed the whole multitasking experience. The new setup is giving both excitement and confusion. In today's video, I'm walking you through everything you need to know and showing you exactly how to use these new features. All right, so first things first, let's head over to the settings. Once you're there, scroll down until you see multitasking and gestures and tap on that. Here's where you'll see the three windowing options. Just make sure windowed apps is selected because that's the new feature. We've always had full screen apps. That's the old way we were doing things. And stage manager is also still available if your iPad supports it. If you want quick access, you can also add this setting to your control center. Just long press and you'll see the option to add a control. Go ahead and click on that and we're going to search for multitasking. Once the option appears, go ahead and select it and it'll automatically be added to your control center. Now you can easily jump between your windowed apps and if I turn that off, it switches right back to full screen apps. And when I switch it back on, windowed apps is automatically enabled again. So that's a helpful little hack if you're someone who wants to save time and stay organized while bouncing between apps. Whenever you open an app for the first time, it defaults to full screen mode. And you'll notice this new toggle down here in the bottom right corner. You can drag this to resize the window however you want and the app will adjust to match. You can also use any of the four corners to make the window larger or smaller. This makes it super easy to multitask and customize your workspace exactly how you want it. Here I have Safari open and did you know the new windowing feature actually lets you run two windows of the same app at the same time. Long press the app and the menu will pop up and you can just tap new window. And there you go, two Safari windows side by side. I've only tested this with Apple apps like Safari and Notes, but child, I'm not going to lie, it's way better than constantly switching back and forth. With this new multitasking view, I've heard that you can have up to eight apps open at the same time, which is wild in a good way. But yeah, I'm just dragging to resize it and I can position these windows however I want. To move a window, just grab it at the top and you can drag it wherever you want it on the screen. You can also do the exact same thing with the mouse if you have one. Just click and drag the window wherever you want. If you want to add apps that aren't sitting in your dock, just swipe up to return to your home screen. You can add apps from here or you can head over to your app library. You'll be able to scroll through all of your apps and easily choose which ones you want to add. I'm just going to go ahead and open up my calendar. And of course, it opens up in full screen. From there, I can play around with resizing and arranging it. And just like that, we've got three apps open at the same time in windowed mode. For anyone who's used a MacBook before, these spotlight controls should look pretty familiar. They work the same way and you'll see them in each window. Red closes the app, yellow will minimize it, and green expands it to full screen. If you press and hold the green button, extra tiling options will appear. This makes it easy to move a window to a specific spot on your screen so all your windows stay visible without overlapping. If I click this one, it quickly organizes my windows into three columns. I'm not going to hold y'all. Seeing and using multiple apps simultaneously has been a game changer for my productivity. Now I've got four apps open, so let me show you how it works when you press and hold and choose the four corners. All your windows are now perfectly aligned. You can also easily resize your windows using this toggle right here. Just drag it to get the exact size you want. And when you pull up the expose, you'll see all your apps you currently have open grouped together. It also shows me all the other apps I've got open in the background so I can view everything at a glance. Swipe up once to get to your home screen and then tap to bring all the apps back into the group view. To close a group of apps, swipe up and then swipe up again and you'll notice the apps will disappear from the sides. Another way to close an app is by tapping the red button and the spotlight controls like I mentioned earlier. And you can also close out an app by swiping up from the expose. When I go back into my expose, you can see that those apps are now mixed in with my other open apps instead of being in a group of their own like they were. So whenever I reopen Canva or Pinterest, they'll be the exact same size they were previously. So yeah, whenever you open an app again, it'll always pop up in the same place and at the same size you had it before. There are also some flick gestures you can use to help with multitasking. Just to recap, swiping up twice is how you close out your apps. 
And when I flick this down to the bottom, it'll minimize the app. To make an app full screen, just double tap at the top. Another way is to flick the app to the top and it'll expand to full screen. You can also move apps into split screen by flicking them to one side of the screen. And again, I can easily adjust the size using this toggle in the center. Another new addition to multitasking is the menu bar, which works a lot like the one on the Mac. To access it, just swipe down from the top of the screen. And to access your notification center, just swipe down, then swipe down again from the left side. The menu bar works just like a standard one with the most common features being File, Edit, Window, and Help. Now these options will change depending on which app you're using. For example, Safari includes options like File, Edit, View, History, Bookmarks, Window, and Help. This new windowing feature still works seamlessly with both the full keyboard and the minimized one. To minimize the keyboard, long press the keyboard icon, then tap on floating. So the way we move the keyboard has changed. Now you can drag it around using the line or three dots at the bottom. To return to the full keyboard, just pinch out on the floating keyboard. If you tap the keyboard icon in the menu bar, you can quickly hide the keyboard. And if you tap on it again, you can show the keyboard so you can quickly jump back and forth. All right, let's get into this dock. It got a little upgrade too, and now it can hold up to 29 apps. To add more apps to your dock, just long press to enter edit mode, then drag whatever app you want down into the dock. You can even arrange them however you like, just drag and drop each app wherever you want it to be. Or just slide the app along the dock to put it exactly where you want. But yeah y'all, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other multitasking tips or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.